What's up fam? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Today I'm going to tell you about whether or not Rodney Anderson is coming back for a red shirt junior season at OU and the likelihood of red shirt juniors Mark Andrews and Orlando Brown returning next year to play football for the University of Oklahoma. And all of that's coming up after the bumper. If you're new to my channel, this is your first time here, consider hitting the like and subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't ever miss a video because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. All right. Bumper. Just snap the damn ball, RJ. So at the bottom of this depressed addled notebook published in OU Die Hard by John Shin, where we find out that not only is Lincoln Riley not firing Mike Stoops, he's given Mike Stoops a vote of confidence and thinks he did a good job. I don't know how giving up 500 yards of total offense and 326 yards rushing to two running backs on 25 carries who averaged 13 yards a carry between them is good, but apparently that's good to Lincoln Riley. Now I get it. 12 wins earned you a lot of capital as a defensive coordinator. But my God, the score was 54 to 48. 48 ought to win you a football game. But I digress. We've reached the time in football where the OU coaches have compiled the NFL draft evaluations. And it would be no shocker that offensive tackle Orlando Brown and tight end Mark Andrews, who were unanimous All-Americans, got first round grades. Now Lincoln said he's getting close with a few guys and he's going to let them have their moment, which is code for they're definitely going to be the people that say I'm going to the NFL draft. But I'd be shocked, like most people would be shocked, if Mark Andrews and Orlando Brown returned for a fifth year. Look, the fact is, they are NFL ready today. And if they are NFL ready today, I want them to go to the NFL tomorrow. Look, I don't want kids held back from being professionals because I'm selfish and I want my OU football team to be the best college football team every year. Look, man, I only expect them to be here for three years if they're that good. Because the fact is, not enough of them are that good. This is a privileged decision that you get to make. So it's not really math to me. It's go make a million dollars or continue to have a full course load and not get paid to do the thing that I'm eventually going to get paid to do anyway. Now that said, we're back to a guy like Rodney Anderson who's had some horrific injuries in his past, but also had a breakout year this season where he rushed for 1,181 yards, averaging 6.2 yards per carry, and rushed for over 200 yards over what many people think is the best defense in college football today. Now I've said if he gets a good grade, I expect him to go because the shelf life of a running back is a negative number. So if you can go get paid, young man, you go get paid. But Lincoln said he hasn't had that conversation with Rodney and he doesn't really think that he's going to go anywhere. Which, if you're an OU fan, is huge news. Because, of course, we want a guy who got to almost 1,200 yards rushing after really not playing the first half of the season and show that he can catch the ball out of the backfield and shown that he can jump out of pools like this. My goodness. So that might be the best news that comes out this week, especially when we have to swallow that Lincoln Riley is not only not going to fire Mike Stoops, but Mike Stoops would have to leave on his own. All right, that's it for me. If you like the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Deuces. Mm.